In this video, I'll show you how to customize the buttons of your Logitech G502. So first, you need to download and install Logitech G-Hub on your PC or Mac. Once you install it and you open it, you're going to see your mouse here. You just need to click once on it. And on this side, there will be a small panel. You need to click on the middle uh, option here, Assignments. And here you'll be able to customize fully each buttons of your mouse, okay? And uh, of course, you don't see all the buttons right now. You just need to click on this small arrow here and you'll be able to see the three other buttons that are on the right, on the left side, sorry. Okay, so let's say I wanna change uh, this DPI up button. So you'll need to go on this panel here and select what you want to input for this button. And seriously, the choices are unlimited. You have commands here, okay? You have keys, any keys that appear on your keyboard can be assigned. You have actions. You have macros. Macros is really nice. Let's say I want to create one. You'll need to name it. So let's say test for this moment. And here you're going to have to select what you want this macro to do. So do you want this button, this input to repeat? or just be one. So if you just want it to be once, you're gonna click on this option. If you want the button to repeat while you're holding, you're gonna select this one. If you want it to act like a toggle, like an on off toggle here, or if you want a second, and this is quite cool, I'll select it, I'll show you. It's, uh, you can go really far with this. So on the left side, you're gonna click on the start now plus symbol here and they will give you the choice to record the keystroke that you want or other options here. Let's say I want to record the keystroke. So now uh, whatever I will type on the keyboard or click with the mouse, it will be recorded. So let's say uh, I want command and A. So once I'm finished recording, I will press this uh, square. This means that when I'll click this custom button, uh, it will act like command A. You can also customize what happened while you're holding it. So let's say I want the same thing, command A. I'll do the same thing, stop recording. And on a release, so the button, once you release it, can act a different way. So let's say I want for this to be command and H this time. I'm going to click the red square here and this will be the second so when i click on that specific button it will press command a and it will finish with command h when i release it you can also select here on the top right corner show key downstroke and key up so you can really see the action that it will do like press the command release the command and then A. If you want the command to be pressed at the same time as the A, well, you'll need to delete this one. So just select it and delete it with your keyboard. If you want, you don't want to release the A, you can do it the same way. You can delete it. So now you'll have the command and A being pressed at the same time. And you can, you can do this for any others, okay? Once you're done, I'm gonna click the save button. And now if you want to input what we just did on whatever button, let's say the DPI op, this one, you just have to take it here, since we save it, and drag it above it. And you see it will be selected in blue, you just have to release it. And now this button is linked with whatever you did here in the macros, okay? And you can do the similar things for, you know, system, DPI up, you want to put it back or whatever. You just need to drag above it. It will become blue and you just release it like this. Okay, same thing with the buttons on the side.
So this is how you customize uh, your Logitech 502 mouse. I hope this was useful. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.